Well, here we are, Tin Cam Bay. It was a bit wet yesterday, so we just did some tie-dye t-shirts. But this morning, just quarter to seven, barnacles, dolphin feeding. It's $10 per person to feed the dolphins. There are a couple there, we can see them, which is good. It does open at seven o'clock, but just keep in mind, it is middle of the week. So weekends, school holidays, it can get really busy. You gotta be here probably at six o'clock to make sure you get a token or at least a chance to feed the dolphins. They only, I think it's like 50 fish per dolphin or something they feed. So make sure you're here early enough. And we can see four dolphins, which is good. We're just waiting for them to open. They're just through there. We'll get a closer look shortly. So we're just down at the um, at the boat ramp is where they feed them. There's the boat ramp and the marina. So right at the end of Tin Cam Bay is where you have to come and you too can feed the dolphins. So looking forward to it. We'll see you in the water soon. While we're in <laughs> Four dolphins, can't see the other one now. Mm. Oh, feeding starts at eight, so we've got an hour to wait. So we're just gonna grab a coffee, relax. <laughs> Someone's trying to cash in as usual. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see the feeding shortly. Speaking of feeding. One person. <laughs> the water's nice. No. Yeah, here. Just one more step. Just one more. There you go. So just hand goes nice and flat like that. You put your hand up flat on that. Your left hand. <laughs> okay. So grip with your thumb. You're going to put a nice tight grip. Put your arm into about there, down under the water to her. She'll just grab that front bit. Right? No. no right down into the water, darling. Oh. Right down into right the down. water. Yeah. Right she'll down. just grab the. See how gentle she is. Oh, see. Like feeding a puppy. And a little blow from the blowhole. <laughs> 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 that was cool. I can see the mum and her grandma. Are you all going to go? Yeah. Uh, just grip here. Yep. And under the water to her. Sure. Just can't see. Oh, yeah, that's, that's all right. Just scale. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> You're welcome, Ella. Uh, thank you. Oh, so thank much. you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. <laughs> up so gentle. It's like feeding a puppy, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> now, how was that? What a feeding. You can just see him. I'm just standing on the boat ramp. A few more people to go. It's pretty quick. So you just line up at the hut. Sanitize your hands, give your tokens over and, and down you go. And one fish per person, $10 per person. The water's a bit brown from the 350 mil of rain they had a couple of weeks ago. But that's the dolphin feeding. We might head to Rainbow Beach, go check that out, seeing it's a sunny day. We'll see you guys there. And you can see Fraser Island. It's pretty close. You could easily get across here in the tinny. You just probably can't really fish. It's a bit wavy through there. And you can tin can base just over the ridge here. It's about a 30 minute drive. You pass and go through Rainbow Beach to get here. There's a few campgrounds. The first couple are your best bet nice and easy just drive in and set up the ones in the middle and to the top you probably need four wheel drive maybe even have to air down a little bit but you can check all them out on wiki here's the uh here are the tracks and the way to get to the barge it's what you got to go through to stay on the tracks it's pretty easy it's only soft uh everywhere else and it looks like the rain's compacted most of it anyway. Drive to the conditions and you'll be right. You can see a few cars over at, uh, at Fraser driving along the beach there. All right, we're gonna head back in to Rainbow Beach. Only a five, seven minute drive back down to Rainbow which you have to pass through to get here. So we'll go check Rainbow Beach out and show you guys what it's all about. But there's Fraser, at least it's sunny. Well, I've just walked to the end of Inskip here and we've just come across this turtle. Looks like it's been washed up for a while. Looks like it got a uh, it got a chomp out of it from a shark here. Done the damage and eventually washed up here. There are some mighty sharks definitely around in these waters. Well, we had a fish at Inskip after seeing a lot of uh, stingray, dead turtles, flatties, uh, salmon. And we've, we've come to Rainbow Beach. So we're just parked up the top of the... Good morning from Tin Can Bay Caravan Park. Have a look at these tie-dyes. 
didn't turn out too badly in the end. All right, we're just packing up. Definitely stay here. There's not too many other places to stay, but this caravan park is nice and big. Plenty of room for your rigs, cars. Fantastic camp kitchen and amenities block. I don't know what Jude's is doing. Anyway, we're just about ready to hook up and we're gonna head to Maruchidor, one hour and a half away. So we'll see you at Maruchidor. All right, the tie dyes are done after our rainy day here at Tin Cam Bay a couple of days ago. This is what mine turned out. Shooter. And Noah, let us know in the comments which one you like the most. Andy, Judesters, or Noah's? Turn around. Alright, we'll see you in Maruchi Door.